Ant and Dex Saturday night takeaway returned to the small screen over the weekend and reached an average of 3 million viewers despite fans complaining of audio issues throughout the show. The Geordie duo have held on to their audience as they had the same average for the first show last year, although the 2020 peak of 4 million was higher than this year's 8.1 million. The figures make the show the second highest rating program of the year so far, outside of news and sport across any channel, only beaten by ITV's The Masked Singer. The 2021 series opened to 1.2 million 16 to 34 viewers, making it one of the highest rating programs of the year for this demographic, outside of news and sport. However, Viewers were left unimpressed by audio issues during the program, with many complaining of background noise coming from the vir- Another added, the audio levels from the virtual audience are annoying, they are drowning Ant and Deck out while they are talking. Another said, watching hashtag Saturday Night Takeaway and having the audience remote, which I totally get, makes it sound like Teresa TV and in another room. It's horrible. Sort out the audio please. Other fans took to social media to ask why hosts Ant McPartland and Declan Donnelly were not socially distancing during the show as they did not keep two meters. One user said, how are Ant and Dec allowed not to practice social distancing? While another sarcastically added, nice to see the kids social distancing. Ant and Dec previously explained they have formed a cohort, meaning they're tested regularly and do not need to stand two meters apart. Opening the show. The pair came onto the stage to the cheers of the 300-strong virtual crowd, as Gary Barlow and Beverly Knight performed a song gushing about being able to return, and said they were so excited to be back in the studio, things are going to be very different this year but it's a privilege to bring you your Saturday night takeaway every deck went on, for the first time ever we can see into the living room live of 300 people all at the same time, joking about how they didn't want the audience to misbehave while they were at home, he added, please all be decent earlier on. The Geordie duo starred in an amusing black-and-white montage that saw them bored at home for days as they waited for the return of the show, trying to keep busy with puzzles and baking bananas. As the show kicked off, Ant and Deck began by surprising teacher Mrs. Crawley with an array of gifts, which they had done over the course of the year with the help of her current and previous students, to help celebrate her forthcoming retirement. The show was a star-studded affair, with the launch show seeing guests including Harry and Jamie Redknapp, It's a Sin star Ali Alexander. Gary and Beverly all making an appearance. Stephen Melbourne left Ant and Deck in hysterics when he arrived at the studio painted entirely in gold, and wearing a matching tank top and on Friday, Ant and Deck gave fans a glimpse at the very different Saturday night takeaway studio ahead of the series long-awaited return. The duo admitted the series will be very different to those past, as they prepared to host the beloved show with a virtual audience of 300 people due to the ongoing COVID pandemic. Ant and Deck spoke about the changes to the takeaway studio during an appearance on Fridays this morning. The pair were in the midst of rehearsals for the show Television Centre in West London, and revealed they've spent six months pre-recording content that will feature Deck said, the show's going to quite different, we have no studio audience here which is such an important part of take We've got a virtual audience but it'll be very different. We've been getting the show together in very different circumstances. We've had lockdowns and restrictions in place. But we've managed in the last six to eight months get enough VT stuff to get in the show, enough hidden co- We've got a series, it'll be different but hopefully no less fun and entertaining. Last year's series of Saturday Night Takeaway was forced to air its last live episode without an audience due to impending lockdown, and ended with two highlights shows.